Well, hello there, you faithful few, and welcome back to DMS Adventures, where if we can't find the info, we're just going to make it up as we go. And that is what we had to do with our topic today, which is tripods for the trail. So when I started doing this crazy hiking, vlogging thing, uh, I figured that I would need a tripod of some sort. I didn't know if anybody used them or not. So I went searching for some info and was surprised to not find a whole heck of a lot on it. Like I saw some tripods in people's videos here and there, but no one ever actually did a video on the tripods themselves. So I really wasn't sure what to get to start off with. So. I just picked up something very simple to start off with. Uh, this is called the Mikair, Mikair, Mikar. This is called the Mikair phone tripod. Now there's hundreds of these choices out there. Um, just picked this one up because what it primarily has going for it is it is lightweight, coming in only 1.9 ounces. So not only is it very light, it's also really compact. We're looking at a height here of just about 1.5 inches when it's out, and then a packed length of 3.5 inches. It's got little um, rubber tips on the feet here just to help it with sliding, to help it be stable um, while you've got it set up. But I pretty quickly found out that with a cross section of only about six inches, it just wasn't quite stable enough for the kind of terrain you find yourself trying to set up a shot on out on the trail. So just so you know, when you pick something like this up, or at least this one in particular up, it also comes with a ball joint. So you can screw that on, loosen this up and you can you know, get it set, get your shot set up straight, it goes 90 degrees. Then it also came with this phone holder. Screw that onto the top, springy. You got a very quick, very lightweight setup. Now at the same time, I also had one of those black and white, uh, very flexible tripods. And I don't have it to show you because that thing broke within like, two months. So I wouldn't recommend one of those. But I did like that idea of having the flexibility to wrap around trees, um, to be able to just adjust one leg however you want. So I went looking for something a little more durable, but still had that flexibility. And I came across the Ulanzi flexible tripod stand. So picked this up for $23. So at its tallest, it is nine and a half inches tall. At its shortest, you bend these out all the way and lay it down. It is 2.75 inches tall. And then packed away, it is 9.75 inches long, which is right at the limit of fitting in my chest rig. The tripod itself is 8.1 ounces. It comes with this ball head, and I really like this. This has got a couple cool features to it. First of all, it also can go 90 degrees like the other one. It has a level bubble on it. So I thought this was pretty cool in that it's pretty flexible. You can put like a normal camera mount type of deal up here, um, but if you're just using your phone, this comes out, opens up, flips up again, and you can stick your phone in there. The ball head here adds an additional 3.7 ounces for a total of 11.8 ounces between the two of them. So up until recently here, this has been my primary tripod out on the trail. It's just really flexible, and I don't mean necessarily in that way. I just mean in the different applications and different ways you can use it. I've had it tied around these poles before, when doing um, our tent reviews out back here. Just flip it around here, and then you can use that 90 degree um, part to get everything nice and level, and it held it up sturdy. And of course, if you can find a tree at the right diameter, 
then you can get this around it as well. Be able to get a couple different shots, a couple different angles and how you set this up. The other thing about it that works well is when you're on uneven terrain and you go to set it down, just very easily kick one of the legs out to get it level. Kick the other one out, raise this one up. It's very easy to get it in the position that you need it. I also like that it comes with this uh, quarter inch screw right here. You can put all kinds of different things there. This is where I will put uh, this clip that I use to hang on my uh, gate latch that I use while I'm out on the trail. I'm not entirely certain what this is made out of. It's just, it's kind of like a rubber. I don't know what the flexible piece is on the inside, um, but so far this has been very durable. It's put up with a fair amount of abuse out on the trail. So, like I said, this has been my primary tripod, but it wasn't doing quite everything I wanted it to. So I went looking for something else, and here's what I found. But before I move on to the next tripod, I wanted to show you this cool little thing. Now this has made um, things easier for me out on the trail. This is the Zune Quick Setup Kit. So these run about 20 bucks on Amazon, and I kind of just pick one up every couple months or so, um, and you'll see why I need a couple in a minute. So it's got a quarter inch screw on there. You can just put it on your tripod or whatever you're using. So it's kind of like a collar for an air compressor hose. Just pull down and this part comes off. So got the gimbal here, got that piece put on the bottom of the gimbal and then it just fits right in. And there you go. Want to switch out for a different tripod? Just take that one off. Get your other tripod that has one on. Bam. And so when I went looking for info on which tripod to actually use on the trail, man, I couldn't find anything. None of the people that I watched did any videos on kind of like their camera equipment that they use. And so I just didn't know. I wanted to, you know, you're weighing weight versus cost versus packability versus function out on the trail and just couldn't find any info on that. Now this next tripod in particular, that was the case for. Found a couple reviews for it, um, just from camera people or uh, photographers and such, um, but, but nobody that was uh, using it on the trail. And so the weights and dimensions and things were a little hard to come by. So that's primarily what this video is for, just to give some more info on this particular tripod that going to show to you next. The Aoka 15.7 inch lightweight compact carbon fiber tripod. That's a mouthful. Now what typically happens when I finally find something that I actually like and think will work great, it's super expensive. And that trend continues with this thing, $75. But I'm super sure it'll be worth it, right? Yeah, it's gonna be worth it, though. totally. It's totally gonna be worth it. So they put as much flexibility in this thing as they could without it actually being flexible, you know, like the other one was. So this little tripod came with the main tripod itself, an extension, and a ball head of its own that I really don't use. So this guy is on the heavy side at 10.4 ounces with an additional two ounces for the extension, but it is super compact. This part, the main tripod right here, this length is only 7.5 inches long. And then this, when it's unattached, doesn't add any length to it. You just put it on there and it's actually shorter than the tripod. So it extends with, you just turn those and loosen them. Turn and loosen. There you go. Now this is my primary, I guess, con with this particular tripod is how long it takes to get all of these pulled out to its full length. There you go. So it has a quarter inch screw hole here as well, just like the other tripod does, so that I can hook on my little clip to it to stick it on my backpack. And as is like this, it's pretty stable. Um, but 
When you get to the full height of this, it can get a little tipsy. And so you can also get these legs out to two other locations. So this is the first location here, second location there, all the way out like so. Now the way you do it is a little cumbersome in my opinion. So there's these little thingies right here. They pull out and when they pull out, you can rotate it and then you push it back in at the spot you want to lock it in at. There are these little wedges where that fits into. And there you go. So I think it's a little cumbersome. You don't need to pull them, pull them out in order to lower it, but you do need to in order to lock it into place. So now here's why I love having this Zoom Quick Connector. So once this is already on there, put the other end onto the extension. Then if I need to add a little bit more height, just put that in and it is ready to go. Then with this guy, you get some extension as well. Same method, twist and pull. And that helps out if you need just a little bit more height for maybe while you're in camp and you want to set up um, a shot that isn't, you know, from the insect's point of view, um, you can get this off the ground a total um, to this point of 24 inches. Now, let me go over those, uh, the heights for you. So here are the dimensions without the extension on it. Like I mentioned, it packs to 7.5 inches. At its shortest, it's 1.5 inches. At its tallest, it is 13 inches. So at its tallest, with the extension, you get 25.25 inches. So a little bit over two feet tall with a tripod that packs down to 7.5 inches. I think that's pretty impressive. The shortest that it can get with the extension on it is 7.25 inches. So then with one of these quick connectors on the top as well, you can just snap that in and it is ready to go. So now I'll just give you a couple shots of the versatility you can get with this particular tripod. So here's just a real world takedown speed when it's fully up. to it. Well, that's it, ye faithful few. Thanks for joining me on this tripod adventure. I hope that it was helpful for anyone out there um, so that you don't have to go to blindly purchase things and cross your fingers and hope it works out for you. So thanks for tuning in to this video and you all have a great day. <laughs>